Using Google Sheets, barcodes, and the app Scan to Web, we can create a powerful check in and out spreadsheet. Here in the app Scan to Web, Jerry is going to check out the hammer drill. Now that he's done, he'll check it back in. So here we have a, a bunch of barcodes, and it, to make to make barcodes is actually pretty easy in Google Sheets. So the first thing we want to do is in this one cell right here, uh, add your add your item. So let's just say a, a uh, mobile printer. Okay, so now we have this value in this cell. So we want to create a barcode for that. So we'll take this other cell and we'll just drag that down and put that formula in there. And what this formula does is it uh, shows the word blank if the first cell is empty. If it's not blank, if there's something there, it'll create an image using this Google API to create a uh, barcode. All right, the first thing we're going to do is create our forms, and we're going to create the checkout form first. So we're going to click on New and create a Google form. It's possible your Google form choice is in the More section, so just go ahead and click on Google Forms. Equipment Checkout. Give it its full name. The first question, we're going to make a short answer, and we're going to say your name, because we want to record who was checking the equipment out. We'll make it required. We'll add another uh, question here, and make that barcode. Make that also short answer. Also required. Let's uh, be a little creative here. We'll change the theme to red, because we're going out with it. It's, uh, it's that direction, so we'll change the theme there. I want you next to click on Responses and click on the Create Spreadsheet response because that's what we want to do. We're going to create a spreadsheet to handle all the barcode scans. And we'll go ahead and click on Create. All right, here's our spreadsheet ready for the barcode scanning to, to receive the barcode scans. So we'll return back to our form. And up here, we'll click on Send click on the link button and we're going to copy this link for now and we're just going to save it. We're going to save it over here uh, until we need it later. Check out form link. All right, we'll keep that there for safekeeping. Next, we're going to go ahead and create our Check in form. I right, call this one the check in, and we only need the barcode. Uh, we don't need the name because we're going to get that from the uh, equipment checkout. So there's our barcode. We're gonna, let's change the theme here too. Let's make it a different color. We'll make this one uh, make this one a nice green. There we go, and we'll also make that required. Now, here's where it's a little bit different because we want to click on Responses. We also want to create on Create Spreadsheet, but this is important. We want to select an existing spreadsheet. So we'll go ahead and hit Select. List of spreadsheets will appear. We want to use the spreadsheet from our other form. And we got it right when we see that there's two tabs. Uh, form Responses 1 will be the Checkout. And form responses to will be the check-in. So this is uh, this is what we want to see when we've selected that. So now it's uh, ready, also ready for responses. We're going to go also click on send, uh, click on the link, and hit copy. And same thing, we're going to put it over here. Check in form link. We'll save that here for when we're ready.
All right, to get ready for scanning, we actually need to create a Google site to make things a little bit easier. So we're going to go ahead and click on New, and we'll go down to More, and we're going to click on Google Sites. Uh, this will be a website we're going to use for our equipment check-in and out and check-out. So we're going to call it uh, Equipment Scanning, and uh, Scan In Out for our title. Now down here, we're going to actually add a button. So we're going to click on this button, and we're going to call it Check Out. And under Link, we're going to go ahead and back to our important links. We're going to grab that link from our checkout form and put that in there and insert it. And we'll make it nice and uh, make that button nice and wide. There we go. We're going to add another button. And you guessed it, Check Back In. We'll go back over to Important Links. We'll get the form link for our check-in. And we'll also make that nice and big. So there is our Google site. Now what we want to do is click on Publish. Uh, confirm we can have the right website here and click on Publish. And then lastly, we can just hit the View button down here on the bottom of the screen, or we can also hit this drop-down list and go View Publish Site. And here we are. And it'll be important now, too, to grab this URL from the top. So we'll go ahead and put that in links here, and we'll call it the uh, Home Page. All right, we're ready to go. We'll uh, go get the app set up for barcode scanning now. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the app scanned web set up. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our link, our homepage link. We'll go to the barcode generator site here on barrywing.com and paste our URL in there and click on QR code. And now we'll go over to the app and we'll add that in there. Tap the gear button on the bottom toolbar, then the QR button in the upper right. Scan in the new homepage URL. We're ready. Let's check out a few items to get started. This will also make creating the status tab easier. All right, we have our couple sample barcodes scanned in here. Now we need to add a couple ranges to our spreadsheet. So we're going to go click on column B, and we're going to click on Data, and then Named Ranges. And we're going to call this one uh, the Out Who, because this is our list of names uh, that have checked equipment out. Next, we're going to add a named range to this column, so data, and then named ranges, and this will be checked out. And then lastly, we'll go back to our first, our check in form, and we'll add a name range here, data, named range, and this will be scanned in. So what we've done is we've added name ranges to each of those each of those three columns that are most important. We're going to go ahead and add a third tab, which we're going to rename to Status, because this is our summary of where things are at. Okay, we're going to add the formula up here in A1 for the items that are out. So we're going to just go ahead and paste that in there. And we're going to go ahead and scan this down. And here we go. We have a 
a list of things that are still out. And this formula is somewhat complicated, but uh, we'll see what all it says. It's first saying is uh, if, if there's nothing scanned in or scanned out, just put this uh, not available up here. Next, it's asking is there a count of items in the scanned in over the scanned out. If it's equal to zero, that means it's still out. So we want to show that it's out and show the who or the name who has it and checked out. And then this section, section part here is if it's checked back in, we'll show that it's back in. Another thing we can do to help out here too is we can go to format and then go to conditional formatting and change the if text starts with out because that's what's in there we're going to change that color to red so that way we can see at a glance the stuff that's still out but let's go ahead and scan one of these items back in And there it is, it shows that that hammer drill is now in. Let's go ahead and scan in uh, tablet two as well. Again, here we are in real time showing that that tablet is in. So at a glance, we have, uh, we have still one item out, and we know who it was. It's Andy, who still has uh, Tablet 1. Thank you. Please let us know if this works for you and if you have improved on our simple design.